Hi everyone, as part of the integration of AWS services in MIL4, in this tutorial, let us see how we can read data in S3 when the data is in CSV, JSON, XML, and X, LSX. How can we read it, bring it to MIL4, and enrich it, and transform and process it in MIL4? So I have sample data here in my computer and the data as you can see is in CSV, JSON, XLSX and the XML format. It is it is the same dummy data. So I have the comma separated file uh, here and JSON format of it is the same. The same data in JSON format is also this one. And I have the other one in XML and in XLSX. So let me first upload them to S3. I have an S3 account here. So I will upload objects, add files, go to here and upload all of them. So now from S3, how can I bring them to MIL4 and process them in MIL4? So upload first. Now all of them have been uploaded. If I go to my bucket, I see them here. <clears throat> so to save time, I have built different flows. So the first flow here is, is it reads data in JSON format from S3 and using the scatter gather router concurrently, it transforms the data to CSV, XML, JSON and XLSX format and writes all of them to disk. So and I have a listener here just to trigger the flow. It can also be some kind of scheduler or another another uh, trigger. So, but for uh, simplicity here, I'm using a listener and the listener path is get S3 data. Okay. Now I'm, I'm connecting to S3. This one is from S3. We have this get object, uh, yeah get object operations that you can see here so i have it here what it needs is the s3 configuration particularly it needs uh, i have my connection configuration here the connection type is basic and i have to provide access key a secret key and also the region endpoint and that's what i have done here and also i specified here down here i have specified my bucket name and also key uh, and also key in this case is a uh, file name so by the way if you don't have a, a, a s3 aws account you can try it for free for a couple of months so my data here is input.json i'm in the first flow i'm reading the json file as you can see here it is get json file so i want to get the json file and transform it to different formats and write it to disk so as you can see my bucket name is simply this one under amazon s3 i just have this bucket fish meal soft and these are the different files i have and first i am reading this file uh, this one input the json so then after that, after specifying the input, is specifying that the input is JSON. Here I go under MIME type. I have to specify the MIME type. It is application JSON. Then in the scatter gather, I have this one. It transforms it to CSV. The first one, the transform message on the top here, it transforms it to CSV, and then writes it to here. It gets written to disk so in this location under this output location after i run my uh, project i should see <clears throat> uh, json to csv dot csv file so here it is writing the json it is converting it to csv here it is converting it to xml here it is converting it uh, it is json saving it as json and here saving it as excel so and the transformation is csv and json we are just putting payload here specifying the uh, output type which could be application csv for csv and application uh, json for json whereas for xml we have to give a root node 
and transform the data uh, using map here as you can see and also for excel we have to provide the sheet name like this key value pairs where the in this case sheet one is uh, the sheet name which is the key and the value will be the payload so i can transform them like this and then just write them to disk this one should write from json to xlsx.xlsx whereas this one the file name should be json to xml transformations are the same the only difference is here i'm reading a csv file the connection to s3 is the same configuration but my key now is input.csv and my mime type i have to specify the mime type here and make it application csv and this one we are reading xml file so the key will be input.xml and the mime type application application xml this one and save it and the last one this one we are reading the xl file so as you can see it is input.xlsx and the mime type we specify from the drop down choose application xlsx so now we have all the flows set up let's run the project and start with reading the json file and check if it's uh, right to disk the same data in csv xml json and xlsx format so now it has been deployed i can go ahead and send a request so the path here is get s3 data copy this and come to r core postman let me clear this and send here get s3 data so now if we go the status code you see the status code response is the status code of the response is 200 now if i come here i see this output folder uh, I, I see uh, json to csv json to json and json to xlsx and json to xml so what it has done is it read the data from s3 the json data and it saved it in different formats here so if i open this as you can see i see data in uh, in csv format comma separated values if i open this it is in json format and if i open this it is in x in excel format and this is in xml format so this one let me open it with okay let me close this and open it with notepad plus plus rather so you see it is in xml format now let's try the next let's test the next ones as a one so now reading data in csv format from s3 so i can simply move this uh, this listener from here to here now it is going to read the csv file as you can see our my key now is uh, input.csv as you can see here and the application type is csv so it is going to read the csv data and convert it to xml json and xlsx and save it to disk so in this output location now after we send another query another request we should see csv to csv csv to json csv to xlsx and csv to xml files so let me see if this has been updated okay so let me save this first okay so now it has been updated i can send another request in this case it should read it should read the csv file from s3 which is this one and save it in in my computer in different formats so come send this request and if we come now here 
if I come here, as you can see, I, I see CSV to JSON to XLSX and to XML. And if I click this, I should I, I see the data there. As you can see, if I can open this also, so the data is appropriately formatted. And another one, the next one is reading XML. So the same way I can just drag this listener and bring it to here and save the changes. So in here from S from S3, we are reading the XML file. We specify the MIME type here and then we are transforming it to different data formats, especially for XML. We have to uh, okay yeah we are transforming it i think now since we are reading xml file uh, we have to so the root node is data then we get the payload by doing by putting payload dot data dot asterisk row in this case so to get each row so when we do this we get the payload uh, and we can save it in csv json whereas for xml we don't need any transformation because it is in xml already and for xlsx the payload is um, uh, the value and we have our our sheet will be the sheet name will be the key in this case so now if i send another request let's check if it has been updated yeah so now if i send another request i should see files when i come back to here i should see xl um, xml to two different formats xml to csv xml to json and so on so send another request and if i come to my folder as you can see i have xml to different formats so it reads xml from s3 and transformed it and Saved it, saved it in in CSV, JSON, XLSX, and XML formats. And the last one is reading XLSX, which is XL file. And that one also to get the payload, like what we did with, um, with the uh, XML file, we have to specify the sheet name to get when we save it to, when we convert it to, when we transform it to CSV or JSON, we have to specify the sheet's name. And my sheet name in the data is input. So, so that's why I'm doing here payload.input. Uh, and for XML, the payload.input, I'm mapping it and also giving it a root node, which is data. Whereas for XLSX, which it is already in XLSX, I just am um, here uh, giving it a sheet name as a key and the value is the payload which we can, which can be accessed by putting payload dot input. So the same way now I can drag and drop my listener to this one and save it. And if I come to the console, let me make sure it updates the artifact successfully so now when we send a request in my working directory here i should see files named as xlsx underscore 2 underscore csv underscore json underscore xml and underscore xlsx so let me check if it has finished updating okay now i can send another request so basically now from s3 it is reading this file it is reading this one the input.xlsx file so if i send a request and come to my folder here as you can see it has saved this file is xlsx to csv json xml and so on so basically in this tutorial we saw <clears throat> we saw how to to connect to amazon s3 we use the amazon s3 uh, connector if you don't have it 
already uh, you can search it from exchange just by clicking this and typing uh, s3 here uh, it should show up here yeah we have amazon s3 connector the other thing is if you don't have an uh, amazon account aws account you can create an account for free and try it for a couple of months and practice with it uh, with different services you can integrate different amazon aws service we have seen how to integrate with redshift with s3 uh, and so on so you can you can practice it uh, so we specify the configuration it needs an access key and secret key you get them from your amazon account so if i come here this connection configuration it needs access key secret key and also you have to specify the uh, the region of your account and the other thing here just uh, we are we are doing transformations to different data types and the transformation we implement depends on what the data we read in is in is it csv format is it json is it xml is it xlsx the transformation we we do will depend on what data we read and also when we read data we have to specify what data type it is like this one for example when we read xml we specified that the data type the main type is application xml the transformation is for csv here when we read xml data we have to access it we have to put the root node first so it is payload dot data and then each row this is it accesses all of the rows whereas if i am reading csv or json to to transform it to csv i just write simply my transformation here simply will be uh, i specify the output type and just put payload so we have to understand uh, what data we are reading in and what the payload looks like when we do our transformations from one data type to another I will add the URL for my GitHub account also in the description section. It has different projects and you can download them and practice with them.